Hey everybody, this week on the show we've got a fun band making some beautiful dancing music featuring some amazing vocals. Their new album is out via Arbutus Records. This is episode 106 of In It To Spin It With Tops. <laughs> So great news for My Morning Jacket fans, their 7th LP, The Waterfall, will be out this May. Also an extensive tour has been announced, nothing to Vancouver yet, a lot of uh, festival dates. Their fan club is great, I got the second installment of the 7 inch here. Great use of a fan club single, Pearl Jam kind of just throws out songs, but this is a, a lot of three unreleased tracks here. I really hope to see these guys on tour in 2015. So we met up with the band at the Biltmore. One of the questions I asked was, what was the last live show that blew you away? I couldn't agree more with Jane's answer, Conan Moccasin. He's been on the show before. You can check the interview out right there. Amazing stuff he makes, a great vibe. We also talk about their first ever experiences in Japan, their roots in Edmonton. Check it out. Hey everybody out there, we are once again in the Biltmore here in Vancouver with a great four-piece band crafting lush pop songs uh, calling Montreal home. This is Tops. Say hi to everybody out there. Jane, Jenny, David. Hello. Hello. Right on, What's guys. up everybody out there? Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for making the time first and You're foremost. Welcome. Always a treat. Um, Exciting times for you guys, I'm sure. Uh, your second LP is out now on our Beautus Records. Picture you staring. But uh, I want to talk about something that recently happened to you guys. As of a week ago, you were able to tour Japan. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. You did 14, I think, or so shows there. Yeah. So maybe uh, tell us about the tour. Sum it up for us. How was that experience? Can you sum it up? It was tough to I sum it up. It was awesome. It was really fun. Yeah. Is it, is it different playing for a crowd, maybe in a country that English isn't the, the predominant language and it's more about the music and transcending the language, or...? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> they have a totally different attitude at shows. Like, yeah. the shows are a lot earlier and um, people are just completely silent when any band is playing. Really? And they're just very, like, it's, they're so respectful. Okay. Um, yeah. I so guess it's really Japanese nice, like, we really got into the music and... The bands we were playing with were all really, really good players, yeah. really good at their instruments. So. Good were they Japanese? Yeah. Every yeah. other band was Japanese. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's amazing for you guys. To yeah, it was cool. Out. We got so much music out of that, just yeah, like yeah. discovering stuff in Japan. And nice. Yeah. They all know a lot about American and Canadian music, so yeah. they were excited to meet us. And I think it was like the best trip of my life, nice. <laughs> probably, yeah. And I heard there was a hitchhiker. Oh yeah, got, Mizuki. Maybe <laughs> to touch on that. What happened there? Did she just... Picked up Mitski and a, like, like a gas station. Yeah, like a rest yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the way to Osaka, right? Yeah, 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 all the way to Osaka. And then uh, she just like never got out of the car. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I went to we went to the rest stop where we all got like snacks and whatever. And then I came back to the van and I opened the door, and I was like, oh, sh like I'm in the wrong van. Like yeah. I just opened a van on it's like some Japanese family's yeah. like <laughs> van, That's and I was dope. looking at her like, oh, how am I gonna get out of this? And then I saw our tour guide, and they were like, oh, she's she's You're with us right now, place. and I was yeah. like. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she's with us now. But she was so nice. nice. She was just the cutest girl, and yeah. she had a lot of fun. She sold our merch. And oh just, yeah. Like, Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she great. really liked. I think for her it was kind of a neat experience. So. Was that was, a first time in Japan for you guys? Yeah. 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 I'd say the thing to take away from that is that if you see people in need of a ride or in anything, just help them out. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't look at them and be scared. Especially be like, in Japan. Yo, let's, <laughs> yeah. let's hang out for like a week. 
I was in Japan uh, quite quite a while ago. What's the vending machine scene like there? Still insane? It's heavy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say like there were alleys that we walked back around that were like residential neighborhoods yeah. and there were vending machines like yeah. every 50 feet. Candy <laughs> hose, beer, batteries, whatever you need. Yeah. The main, the mostly main, drinks. No, mostly, mostly coffee. drinks. Really? Coffee. Hot, hot coffee, hot, hot tea. Hot corn drink. Okay. Yeah. Hot cheese and corn drink. That was an interesting one. Jenny and I love that. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, uh, let's move on to your LP. As stated, uh, Picture You Staring, Arbutus Records, you recorded, produced, wrote uh, the entire LP. Features beautiful vocals, a uh, lot of grooves in there, great instrument interplay. Uh, there's a sort of, I know it's been touched on a lot, sort of a sense of a throwback sound that conjures up a Dirty Dancing, Top Gun soundtrack <laughs> stuff. Um, how, and Sade actually popped into my mind at one point on there. Very um, good. <laughs> talk about uh, how that era of music sort of crept onto this LP. I, mean, I think the main thing is that we play the instruments that they use in that era. Yeah. So like it just, the like the tones and like the sounds just naturally are people like, hey, those guys are using the same, little same instruments as they off. did then. Yeah. yeah okay. So it just sounds the same. Um, Obviously, like anybody who's alive today is, whether they like it or not, influenced. Well, probably not anybody is, but influenced Making by that, that music. Yeah, the type of music you guys are making, yeah. I mean, I think for us, yeah, like, we definitely all really like a lot of different music. Like, I yeah. think we're all kind of like music nerds, so we just draw on as many different things as we can. Okay. And uh, what, talk about, um, I know you guys had more time and a more comfortable space to record in this time and talk about how that uh, positively affected the final outcome. It was wicked. Well, we weren't like expected to do anything by anybody else. Yeah. So everything was on our own terms, which is a like total luxury. So we were able to like record songs and be like, go back home with us and be like, yo, this is like whack crap, this sucks, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> or it's chill but not good enough, so we go do it again. Had a lot Tweaking. of time to practice, just like yeah. learning how to like play the parts right, and be like, play the bass a little bit better. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That. And, then, <laughs> and no pressure to get out of the space here. Yeah, no just, pressure at all. Yeah, yeah. So that's I great. Mean, there was like a rock radio rock band that like joined <laughs> underneath us, in yeah. the studio below us, partway through the thing. I just wanted to throw a big, big up to those guys. Cause they really What's their name? What's I name? don't know. Oh, yeah, but they were just they were just rocking so hard all the time. Okay. We were at the end of the record where we were doing all the like really quiet stuff. We already done all the guitars and basses and keyboards and drums. And so it was hard to record with them. Well, it was yeah. funny just to like hear the like the difference between what we were doing and what <laughs> okay. this like just uh, other band was doing. But you could hear it really well. Okay. So. Um, for for the people out there, I really like Change of Heart, but uh, the album, uh, the first song on the album, um, Way to Be Loved, with the video, we can link that here for the people out there if they're new to Tops, uh, check that out. And I understand there's a very ambitious project to do with videos for this album, right? You're going to try to make a bunch? Well, we have three out, and yeah. we have two more coming down the okay. line. So. so those will be out soon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're just finishing them up. And okay. I just really like making uh, films and videos, so I just kind of... It's fun for me, and yeah. I like that way of presenting the music so we can kind of expand upon it and a maybe, lot. Maybe some soundtracking in the future, who knows? I would like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, famous director. Yeah, famous director that's watching this. Yeah. <laughs> Get in touch. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> talked about uh, the scene in Montreal you guys sprouted from a lo loft art space scene but I want to get to the the Edmonton connection mm -hmm. because uh, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of Edmonton uh, connection here um, the great music scene as well so you've got shout out 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 uh, Mac DeMarco, <laughs> Cadence Weapon, Alex Calder, um, Calvin Love and yeah. your guys friends label mate Sean Nicholas uh, Savage uh, lots of talent coming out of Edmonton sprouting but not many people staying 
blowing yeah. up into. So <laughs> talk a little bit about then Purity Ring. I know you guys weren't friends with them, but blowing and up me. on a global level. I'm from Edmonton. Yeah. 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 But, and Nicole. Okay. <laughs> let's, let, let's let Jenny feel this question because she lives in Edmonton. Yeah, still. Yeah. Nice. We're going there in like less than a month. That's where next month is. But uh, talk about the music scene in Edmonton because there's so much great stuff coming yeah, out. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Like, Talk about maybe coming up there and what's going on there now. I only know one oh. venue, Wonder Bar, I think. And yeah, there Wonder many Bar. Others? We don't know how long it'll stick around. Yeah. So, and the Artery closed is closing okay. in, within the next month. That's yeah, right. Edmonton's not an easy place to it's keep things going, yeah. but it's it's also like a size where if you want to do something different, like you really kind of have to band together because yeah. everybody else is into something else or not into music at all. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, a it's been talent. changing a lot in the it's last, like, 10 years. Yeah. And I, I play in a bunch of bands there. There's lots of great bands that I haven't even we'll seen that are just, like... Yeah, should and what, what other venue should we go to? Maybe when we're there. That's a great question. <laughs> um, man, I've been gone a lot this year, but I would have I would have sent Wonder Bar and the Artery, but the Wonder Bar might be closing or under new ownership. Uh, I think there's some like startup spaces happening, some yeah. like things that I can't that I can't advertise. Yeah. Well, don't there, be used to be, there used to be a place called Baby Seal Club, but Baby that's Seal. that's not it's gotten shut down lots of times. But there's lots of bands. People find ways to play. Give a little shout out to the bands you play in. You oh, I play out. in uh, Faith Healer. That's coming out on Mint Records. Uh, oh, no, album's really? called Cosmic yeah. Troubles. Sweet. At the Check end of out. March, I play in Tita's. I play in Randy Wilson and Randy Wilson Punk Explosion. Wow, busy. John Common. Busy lady. Nice. Mm -hmm. Play in Tops. I play in Tops. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, let's All go that. down the line. Last truly great concert you saw. Oh, you can start with David. Uh, 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 Japan? Um, okay, I can, oh, I can Japan, go back to Japan, yeah. yeah. I liked, um, oh, there's so many events. Okay, my favorite was called, uh, Picnic, P-I-Q-N-I-C, very, like, creepy, they call it, like, indie rock, but, like, it was, like, creepy Picnic. as hell, like, droney, like, rock cool. and stuff, okay. I loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Jane? I'm gonna go with... Hane Moccasin was the last show that I was like really really blown away. I just thought he was a great guitar Where did player, you see him? Like vibe master, beautiful voice. I saw him play at Kevin Yeah. Island. Um, I actually, my friends uh, Kieran and Jay Callahan were opening for him. Oh. So that was Same cool. tour we saw, I interviewed Yeah. Caught in that okay, show cool. here. Yeah. We're gonna see Kieran tomorrow. Kieran is so show. good. Too. Yeah. He just yeah. I was just with <laughs> it the whole way. Like <laughs> there were <laughs> some long jams, and he kept me. It in was it. amazing. And he brought oh, it back, yeah. and I was just like, yeah, just a lot of different elements. I was just yeah, truly blown away. It was Embracism is Kieran J. Callahan's or Callahan's um, album. Really, yeah, yeah. that would show I totally can understand oh, yeah. why you guys saying that. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> so good. What's up, everybody out there? Hi. Did you so figure did you it have out? A show? Uh, well, I like that band. She bought her picture. Yeah. They're oh, really, yeah. they're really yeah. good. They're yeah. they're in Japan. Okay. Yeah. I only saw like two of their songs. I was like, hey, hey, who are these guys? That's what I said to myself, and then I went and found out. Yeah. That's nice. the thing with J Japan is we play with so many bands where you're like blown away and you've never seen it before. You yeah. never heard any of the songs. Probably won't see it again. And like we know, because we were touring our new record for a while before it came out, and like it's such a different experience when you know the songs or not but like to see a band and be truly blown away without having any idea yeah. what you're even watching that yeah. happened like numerous times so okay. that was really cool. so we'll check those two picnic and uh sheep order picture picture yeah. cool yeah. <laughs> okay well i think that's a good uh talk yeah with tops um, right. anything else i'm missing no i don't think so definitely some beautiful stuff on picture you staring so check that out and uh, thanks for making the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Have a great show tonight. Thank you. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now let's get this girl a drink. Yes! <laughs>